Hello friends, now we are starting example number 21 from miscellaneous exercise 6a. So observe the example here, find the vector equation of line whose Cartesian equation is given to us. Means Cartesian equation of line is given to us, just simply we have to convert it into what vector equation. Where we have one formula to find out vector equation that is r bar is equal to a bar plus lambda b bar. To find out uh, the vector equation, we will require the value of a bar and what b bar, which we are trying to find out using the Cartesian equation. So first, adjustant equation is not given in standard form, so we are simplifying this equation. So 4x keep it as it is. Uh, so minus 3z on this side will become plus 3z and plus 5 will become what minus 5. Now to convert it into in the form of Cartesian equation, coefficient of x and coefficient of z should be equals to 1. So here y is equals to 2 keep it as it is. So here we are dividing to numerator and denominator by what 4. So if I am dividing to numerator by 4, 4 will get cancelled. And if I am dividing to denominator by 4, as it stands nothing is there in the denominator means 1 is there. And we are dividing to denominator by what 4 just to convert the coefficient of x into what 1. So is equals to here coefficient of z is 3. So to eliminate 3 here we are dividing to numerator by 3. So divide by 3 so here we will get z and here we will get minus 5 by 3. Since we are dividing to numerator by 3 so divide to denominator by 3 in the denominator 1 is there and I am dividing to this denominator by what 3. Now uh, so from this equation we are able to find out coordinate of one point and direction ratios also. So if this term of y is separate means here in the denominator 0 is there getting it so there this line passes through point through point so let us try to find out coordinate of this point through the point. What is x coordinate here? x minus x1. x1 is missing means x coordinate is 0. So it is in the y. y is equal to 2. y coordinate is already given to us 2. And z minus z1. z1. What is the value of z1 here? 5 by 3. From this equation we have got coordinate of one point on the line. Now we are trying to find out direction ratios. And having direction ratios. Having direction ratios. So what are the direction ratio? Here A means what? Denominator of term of x means 1 by 4. B means what? Denominator of term of y. y term of y is separated because its denominator is 0 means b will be equals to 0 and c is equals to what 1 by 3. Once the direction ratios are known to us we are able to write down this direction ratio in simplest form as this and direction ratios are in what fractions. So to convert it into simplest form multiply to all the terms by LCM of denominator. What is LCM of 4 and 3? 12. So multiply by 12. So here 12 upon 4 will be equals to 3. If I am multiplying here by 12, we will get 0. If I am multiplying here by 12, 12 upon 3 will be equals to what? 4. Once the direction ratios and coordinate of one point is known to us, we are able to find out value of a bar and b bar. So let a bar be the position vector of point. What are the coordinate of point? 0, 2 and 5 by 3 and b bar be the vector parallel to line. So therefore a bar will be equals to a bar is position vector of this point. So its value is 0 i cap not necessary 0 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 5 by 3 k cap. And b bar is equals to, b bar is a vector parallel to the line. And these are the direction ratios of the line. From this direction ratio, value of b bar is 3i cap plus 0j cap plus 4k cap. Not necessary to write 0j cap here. So lastly, substitute these values in this formula to find out our required vector equation of line. Replace a bar by its value. What is the value of a bar? 2j plus 5 by 3k cap plus lambda into b bar, b bar is equal to 3i cap plus 4k cap. In this way, we have got our required vector equation of line. Now we are solving last example from this miscellaneous exercise. 
observe this example very carefully we have to find out coordinate of a point on this line which is at a distance 3 unit uh, from the base point A having coordinate 1 2 3 this is a point on the same line if you observe the equation of line here x coordinate is 1 y coordinate is 2 and z coordinate is what 3 means this is the point on this line so let us consider here let this will be say given line and one point on the line is given to us and it is already denoted by what a now question is to find out another point on the line which is at how much distance three units from this point so here we are getting two different points which are at a distance what three units from point a if one point is on this side which is at distance three unit means one point may be on the right hand side and maybe on the what left hand side which is at how much distance three unit let us denote this point say by b so we are denoting second point on a required point on this line by b which is at how much distance three units from uh, point a hope the conditions are clear to you so this point which is at distance three unit from the given point a we have denoted by b so definitely two possibilities are there one point is on uh, if we, one point is on left hand side definitely another point is on what right hand side so let b be the point on the line on the line what is the equation of line x minus 1 upon minus 1 is equal to y minus 2 upon minus 2 is equal to z minus 3 upon 2 is equal to say lambda i am denoting these three values are equal let us denote this value say by lambda so i am supposing that b is a point on this line which is at how much distance three unit from a so which is at distance 3 units from A. So therefore coordinate of point M R uh, sorry not M B R. So B is a point B is a point on this line. So this B is a point on this line. From this equation we are trying to find out value of coordinate of point B. So let us try to find out coordinate x coordinate. So consider that this first and this last two terms are equal. So minus 1 will get multiplied on this side. So here we will get minus 1 into lambda is minus lambda and minus 1 on this side will become plus 1. In this way we have got x coordinate. Now considering that these two values are equal try to find out value of y means y coordinate minus 2 lambda and minus 2 on this side will become plus 2 means 2 minus 2 lambda is the value of y coordinate and z coordinate is 2 lambda minus 3 on this side will become plus 3 means 3 plus 2 lambda in this way we have got coordinate of point b here so here it is given to us that a b is equals to how much 3 units it is given to us b a b is equal to 3 unit so therefore if we are squaring both sides so a b square is equal to what square of 3 is equal to 9 isn't it so a b square will be equals to 9 why we are taking square on both sides because on this side we are applying distance formula to find out distance between two points what is that formula under root x2 minus means under root is there to eliminate under root we are squaring both sides getting it so now uh, what we will get according to distance formula not necessarily under root because already we have taken what here square now x2 minus x1 whole bracket square so what we will get here x2 minus x1 means 1 minus lambda minus minus 1 whole bracket square plus y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 means what we'll get here 2 minus 2 lambda minus minus 2 whole bracket square plus z2 minus z1 means what we'll get here 3 plus 2 lambda 3 plus 2 lambda uh, what are the coordinate of that point a a has coordinate 1 2 3 sorry here we will get minus 1 so x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 means here we will get 2 and lastly z2 minus z1 3 plus 2 lambda minus 3 
minus 3 whole bracket square and on this side 9 keep it as it is hope you are getting it which formula we are applying distance formula to find out distance between these two point the remaining part is simplification part so my plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled here remaining term is minus lambda and what is square of minus lambda lambda square here minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled remaining term is minus 2 lambda but square of minus 2 lambda is 4 lambda square plus here minus 3 and plus 3 will get cancelled square of 2 lambda is 4 lambda square is equals to 9 collect these terms so therefore lambda plus lambda square plus 4 lambda square plus 4 lambda square is 9 lambda square is equals to 9 so therefore lambda square is equal to 9 will get divided on this side 9 upon 9 is 1 so which implies that lambda is equal to either plus or what minus 1 just simply we have taken square root on both sides so since we have got two values of of lambda means definitely we will get two points uh, which two point b which is at how much distance three unit from a so when lambda is equals to plus one coordinate of point b r so substitute this value of lambda here so what we'll get here one minus one then two minus two into one and three plus two into one so therefore coordinate of point B are 0 here also we will get uh, 1 minus 1 will be equals to 0 here also 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and lastly uh, 3 minus 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 in this way we have got the coordinate of which point uh, coordinate of point B again let us check it here minus 1 and sorry here minus not minus here plus 1 is there so here we'll get plus 1 so if plus 1 is there so then here 1 into lambda here also will get plus lambda sorry make the correction here if here then here also will get plus and square of uh, lambda is lambda square so remaining part will be the same so here we will get plus because plus is there so make the correction here 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 in this way we have got coordinate of point b when lambda is equals to 1 and when lambda is equal to what is the second value of lambda minus 1 at that time coordinate of point b are hope you have got it so here x coordinate we are finding 1 into lambda is lambda and minus 1 on this side will become plus 1 so make the correction here 1 plus lambda is the x coordinate now if we are substituting lambda is equal to minus 1 what we will get here 1 plus minus 1 just replace lambda by minus 1 then here we will get 2 minus 2 into minus 1 lastly 3 plus 2 into minus 1 will be what z coordinate so therefore b has coordinate so here we will get 1 minus 1 is 0 here 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and here 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 in this way we have got uh, second point which is at how much distance which is at distance 3 unit from the uh, from which point a in this way we have got coordinate of uh, we have got two points one is uh, at a distance 3 unit and one point is on this side so here we have got two points means there are two points on this line which satisfies this condition satisfies this condition means the distance from point A is equal to what? 3 units so in this way we have completed this miscellaneous exercise 6a in the next video we are starting next and the very important part of this chapter which is nothing but what planes